So today we're going to be talking about the histiocyte and the histiocytic disorders just in neurop. Obviously we're not going to be covering the whole hematology of histiocyte because that would take too long. What you need to know though is there are precursor cells and those precursor cells form the basis of the histiocytic lesions that we see. And that can be either in the monocyte line or the macrophage line or in the dendritic cell. As you remember, the dendritic cell, uh, the monocyte and the macrophage are all part of our immune system, but they're part of a special part of the immune system called the reticuloendothelial system. So these cells are very specialized cells for uh, eating stuff. And that's what phage means. So he's a big eater, this macrophage. So we can have tumors derived from these cell types. And they can either be of the Langerhans cell histiocyte type or the non langerhan cell histiocyte type. The monocytes also can make leukemia and malignancies. That's chronic myelomonocytic leukemia. We, and you should look at the videos on leukemias for those as well as anemic retinopathy in those patients. Today we're going to concentrate on these two characteristics, which is the Langerhans type and the non Langerhans type and how that comes to neurop. So the way it comes to neurop, even though both of these can be in, cause histiocytic infiltration in multiple organ systems, and that means it can be in your heart, it can be in your lung, it can be in your retroperitoneum, the ones that come to us are the ones that are the dural based ones and the ones that affect the orbit. So the dural based ones can produce with optic neuropathies or cranial neuropathies that might come to us as double vision or loss of vision. The orbital ones come to us as a bilateral mass. And so in the non Langerhead cell type, we have a special type, which is called sinus histiocytosis with massive lymphadenopathy. So if we're doing a chart biopsy on this chart of a patient with dural lesions or orbital lesions, and we encounter that they've had imaging studies that show massive cervical or abdominal or thoracic massive lymphadenopathy, that disorder is called the Rosai Dorfman disorder. And it's kind of a funny name, Rosai and Dorfman. And that's good and it's bad. It's weird, but it's also weird that you can remember it. The Rosai Dorfman syndrome, a macrophage disorder of the non Langerhan cell type, characterized by massive lymphadenopathy, and the sinus histiocytosis can come to us as dural based infiltration or a bilateral orbital mass. In the Rosai Dorfman, the path, as with all of these, is critical because you really can't tell it's a histiocyte from the MRI scan or from the, from the orbit evaluation. And so the path finding is called empiripolysis. And what this means is you have an intracytoplasmic lymphocyte. The lymphocyte himself was eaten by the macrophage. So inside the macrophage is another cell. And that's what empiripolysis, M means in, peri means around. So the whole macrophage is eating, macrophaging, big eater of what he's not supposed to be eating, which is you. And the other form of this is called Erdheim-Chester, Erdheim-Chester disorder. Also a very weird uh, name, Erdheim and Chester. And Erdheim-Chester also can produce dural-based lesions, orbital lesions. It does not have the empiripolysis on the path, and it doesn't have the massive lymphadenopathy. What, what Erdheim-Chester uh, looks like is slightly different than what Rosai Dorfman looks like, but you really need the path but they both share this piece right here, which is the dural-based enhancing lesion and the bilateral orbital masses. The only way to know what that is, however, is to biopsy. The Langerhan cell histiocytosis can occur in different organ systems, retroperitoneal, like in Erdheim Chester, or really anywhere in the body. And so when you look at the chart, there's all these organ systems having infiltration, lymphadenopathy, retroperitoneum, perinephric. When you see that in the chart, you really should be thinking maybe this is an infiltrative neoplastic process that can be benign or malignant. And if it's the Langerhals cell type, that used to have names like Hans Schuller Christian disorder, where they had diabetes insipidus, and Lettere Sue, which is a fa fatal juvenile form, but really we don't call on any of those anymore. We just call them all Langerhans cell histiocytosis. So again, the, the, the way this comes to us is dural-based or orbital lesions, infiltrative process, histiocytic should be on the differential as well as lymphocytic, 
and you need a biopsy to differentiate them.